dope. Uh. Oh, let's try it. Please don't fall. Okay. What's up? Welcome back to my channel. So I'm attempting something different, if you can tell. I'm filming in my car at night in like the weirdest setup. Like I'm using one of my old iPhones flashlights, putting it on top of my camera and stuck my camera in this hole in my dashboard. So hopefully you can see me. Fingers crossed you can see me because I don't want to have to refilm. But anyways, I just wanted to film something. I just wanted to chat. Honestly, I wanted to tell a funny story about the first time that I ever got, well, no, the only time that I've ever gotten too high. So, as I tell this story, I'm going to smoke, like, a little spliff, personal size spliff. But, yeah, so I'm going to start the story. I'm going to use real names because, literally, I don't care. Like, I don't care. Nobody cares about the, these people. Like, come on. And that's not to be rude, that's just like factual, nobody cares. So, I was in North Carolina with my cousin, and um, she had a best friend, his name is Ted. Still her best friend. And he went to NC State at the time, and he had a friend slash roommate, well no, he wasn't his roommate, but he had a friend named Trip. And Trip was like the turn up guy, Trip was like... When we were drinking, Trip was there. When we were smoking, Trip was there. Like, he was the turn up guy, right? Like, one day, I remember we were going to eat and we were like pre gaming beforehand before we were gonna go out one day. Trip goes in the hallway and literally punches a hole into one of the lights in the hallway. Literally just breaks the glass. Why? We don't know. He's just fucking turned. Like, I don't know so trip was turned that's just like an example of his personality so one day um at nc state they have these things called ciphers and i believe it was on monday at the time but honestly i don't know and they do this thing where everybody gets together and they all start rapping and it's honestly it's really cool it's really cool to experience and like be around a whole bunch of people rapping and shit i don't know the energy is dope so we're getting ready to go to the cipher we're like, oh yeah, let's smoke first, like we usually do. But this time was different. This time, Trip wanted to pull out his ginormous ice bong. And when I say that shit was like, it was like a good three feet. Like it was a big ass ice bong. I'd never hit an ice bong before. He loaded that bitch up and everyone else was taking their hits. Couple pulls, done. Couple pulls, done. I don't know why I was trying to show out. I was trying to show out and I, honestly I got I don't know like I was doing so much I was smoking and he's like he's like okay inhale and then I'm inhaling he's like keep going keep going keep going and I'm not stopping I cleared the entire thing nobody else could clear it I could even he didn't clear it so like I don't know what the fuck was wrong with me but I cleared that bong the ice bong and it was like the craziest high I've ever had in my life like I didn't just hit the ice bong we smoked of course and then we did the bong after. So I was already high when we did that. So at this point, I'm so high out of my mind. I've literally never been this high in my life. So I'm so high that we go down to the cypher. Mind you, we were just smoking in the apartments. The apartments are like a three minute walk to where the cypher was. So we walk over there. I'm high as shit. I don't know what's going on. There's cops there. But like, it's a school campus, of course there's gonna be cops around just in case. But there's cops there and I'm getting so freaked out by seeing the cops that I'm just so paranoid in my hair. I'm like, oh my God, they know, they know I'm high, they know I'm high, everybody knows. I started pacing back and forth like an idiot. Literally walking back and forth. I started hugging a tree. I started hugging a tree. I started hugging a tree and I was telling my cousin, they're gonna know, everybody knows we're high, they're gonna come for us. Next thing I know, I throw up. I'm standing outside by the tree. Sorry if that's TMI. But I just barfed everywhere. Like, what the fuck? Never been that high in my life. I was bugging. I was like, yo, everybody knows. We got to get out of here. We got to get out of here. Then we get back to the house. Literally, I fell asleep on the couch with all of my clothes on. My shoes, everything. 
I woke up the next day like, what the fuck happened? Like, it was, it was ridiculous. Honestly, it was the highest I've ever been in my life. I've never been that high again. I guess that was like, I don't know, still really early in my smoking days because I've never barfed from smoking before except for that one experience and that was insane. And that was a great night, honestly. I would do it again. <laughs> it was a great time. So, no regrets. It's just really crazy how like your tolerance goes up from when you start smoking to when you're an experienced smoker who smokes every day. I thought that would be a nice little sesh story to share, share with you guys. Also random, I checked my email today and I got an email from YouTube and they're saying they're demonetizing my channel because I don't have a thousand subscribers, which is gay because I've had my channel for a year and I've built up literally half, like you have to hit a hundred dollars to be paid. And I'm at a little more than halfway to $100, so. The fact that I'm, they're going to demonetize my channel now because I don't have a thousand subscribers is whack. Only because I feel like I've been working. I've been trying to, like, build my channel. And, you know, it takes time. No rush on it. But the fact that they're going to do that so that you have to have a thousand followers before you can even start monetizing, that's trash. Because now I have to start all over again. But whatever. This is not just about the money. It's definitely not just about the money. It's just kind of annoying that now they're doing this new thing. So anybody who wants to start YouTube shouldn't get discouraged. They should just do their best to build up their followers quickly. It's just kind of gay, but whatever. You know, you gotta move with the times. But I'm about done with my little spliff, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye!